And as far as the jazz education, I think the important thing is to teach, to make sure the students know where the music came from and not that it started in 1970 or 1975. Uh, when I teach my composition students, I don't say you have to write like Basie or you have to write like Duke, which is, or Jimmy Lunsford or anything, but you should know that music. So when I give, say, an example to them, say, well, uh, here is such and such a piece by Jimmy Lunsford, they should know something about it. Or if I said, you hear the, uh, the Basie band with, uh, with Lester Young and, and, uh, and that, that particular band with Papa Joe, you should know what I'm talking about. It's amazing. Some students, you say Basie, and you, you, never mind that band, but you talk about the Basie band with Frank West and Frank Fawcett. They don't even know that band, which to me was one of the great bands. You talk about the pieces of Ellington and Strayhorn, you get a blank stare for the most part, for the most part. Um, I have a problem with that. Again, not because they, I expect them to write like that, but they should know it. It's part of, you know, it's like knowing your heritage. It's like knowing your family. And I think it's vitally important. And I run into that um, certain places in Europe. You run into it here, I'm sure, uh, where some of these students feel they don't need to do, know that uh, because they don't have to, basically. It's like, well, why you do that? Because I can, you know. So I really feel that important part of jazz education, no matter what your instrument is, you're a composition major or whatever, you should know where this music came from. And I mean really where it came from.